All right, guys, I'm finally getting around to modding the disruptor. Now, it is the same as a strong arm on the inside, but I might as well just open it up and show you guys since I don't think I've actually done a strong arm mod guide. Um, this mod guide will essentially work for your disruptor, your strong arm, and your alpha hawk. So I've gone ahead and painted the uh, disruptor along with a couple of other projects, but right now the disruptor, I went ahead and did a black and chrome, and then I went over some of the chrome pieces with a red metallic. Uh, it came out less metallic, but it came out as a pretty good red. It did kind of not take in a couple of spots, but that's all right. This thing is still gonna look pretty dang sweet. All right, so I went ahead and re-greased the uh, O-ring, went ahead and Teflon taped this. So now these internals are good to go. There are really no air release holes besides right there, but that is so small, uh, it really doesn't do anything that's noticeable. You can go ahead and fill that with epoxy putty, but that's not really necessary. I also went ahead and painted the blaster. Uh, the slide is silver and it looks really, really nice. It did have some bubbling effect on some of the pieces, but that is not the end of the world. Well guys, sometimes the best things in life are short and sweet, just like this video. This mod was really easy to do. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. The paint did cure kind of funky on top of the chrome in some places, but the performance is respectable. Still have slam fire. Albert, slam fire is not the greatest. Let's, there we go. Uh, this blaster is just a lot of fun. It looks really cool. I'm really happy with the way that this disruptor turned out. So guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Uh, there's more videos that will be linked like over here and over here, and then you can subscribe like right here. Thanks guys.